So, um, so I saw this Facebook meme of, uh, of like three black women, um, surprisingly different skin tones, light skin, brown, dark skin. And they had like the black power fist with Afro natural hair, uh, black, all black, lingerie, sexed up, you know, big breasts, you know, you know, quarter cut or you know, whatever, breast cut, chest cut, t shirt, and you know, did it with the caption of, you know, no, no sex, you know, until we, uh, black men. Dear black men, protect us and defend us, or no sex. I'm like, <laughs> like sometimes I hate when conscious black women, conscious women, really think that the majority of women have like an on code, like protocol. You know, I'm like, where is this? I'm tired of like. Maybe this is because I'm, you know, maybe it's not common. I'm pretty sure it's not common to most people, but. You know, women can you you conscious women can protest protest sex all you want. The thing is that brothers can usually find women, whether they're black or not, to to be with, to sleep with. Females really, I hate that females generalize black men as these sexual organs, even when these females are conscious. They still reduce black men to these sexual organs. The mandingo status, they still reduce us to that. You know, what about no dating, uh, no kids, no commitment, no, uh, you know, no help, or, you know, n- you know, I can't get that, but it's like, what's with the whole no sex? You know, like, like, is that, 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 like, that's gonna trump niggas? I know it'll get niggas, but it's not, it's not like, it's, a, it's the thing is, it's not like, I just don't respect it. I just don't like that. Like, it makes it seem like every black dude, every conscious dude, or, I'm not even conscious, but it just makes it seem like, you know, I don't like when people dangle sex between, you know, in front of a black man as if that's supposed to make them yield or something. Yeah, it should be a given that, you know, black women should be protected, therefore. But the issue is that, you know, there's a lot of good black men, decent brothers, who fall in the category. One, a good bit of them are powerless. You know, a lot of these brothers, you know, they talk a good game, especially in the conscious community. Fuck the cracker, fuck the cracker. I'm going to blow some shit up. And then you see these niggas fold up in real life. Like, uh, like five years, well, like five years ago, a couple years ago, when, um, this black woman, she called up, um, General Sarah Suit and Seti, Suit Seti or whatever. And, you know, he's, the lights, that lights can do is always known for, you know, fuck the cracker this, fuck the cracker that. But, you know, when, when, when people call him up and say, like, hey, we're, we're about to do it right now, the dude folds up, and he now he's thinking, like, well, you know, we got to be a little bit more strategical. We got to, you know, he's, now he's wiggling his thumbs around, like, you know, yeah, that's what I want to do, but let's not do it right now. So you, you have that aspect of the cowardly or powerless brother, you know, who... You know, that's why I don't really find the conscious, I don't take the conscious community serious, especially with the, their concept of war, which is really just kind of something, to me, they're, like, I, I can't imagine these dudes fighting, that's kind of like one weird thing, like, you know, well, how, how are they going to fight, do, they, do these people even know how to use guns, do, do, they don't even know how to think strategically, it's just, you know, I, I can't imagine them doing anything. So, yeah, you have that one issue. One issue is that black men, some black men are powerless, weak, do not do not know how to fight. So you have that issue. Um, number two, you have black men who, 
you know, who like black women, respect black women, but the thing is, is that they're not in the area. You know, we, we don't see it. That, that's kind of like where I fall in because I hear black women saying that they're getting abused, they're being killed in large numbers. Even feminists are using statistics to prove that black on black crime is actually a thing. But the, the issue is that it's not gangs, it's not gang affiliated, it's not uh, black men killing black men. It's the, the real issue is now black men killing their girlfriends and wives, and that's the new epidemic. You know that, and you know I'm he, I'm hearing these stories and people talking about domestic abuse in the black community. And you know, uh, and when I was in this domestic violence forum, you know, this one lady, she was like, "Where, the, where are you, black men? At? You know, wh where, where is the men? Where's the black men? You know, where, are, where are you guys at?" And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm you know, she, she was like, "Where's the, where, where are you guys at?" And the thing is, is, I was just thinking to myself that a lot of these good black men are not in the situation. They're not there. You know, they're, they, they're just probably out to themselves. They're isolated. They're loners. They don't go out much. They don't see it. They're, you know, you know they're, it just, they're just blissfully unaware. Like, it's not even on their fault. It's just that they just didn't see it. They don't know anything about it. That's kind of like where I fall in because, like, you know, I, I don't see the shit, but people say it's there, but it's like, I literally don't see it. And then, probably say three, is that, you know, what, what would be the third reason? Okay, now I remember, you have three, you have black men who do not feel respected by black women. You, you have those who have been disrespected, they've been discouraged, they're lame, they've been always been taught down upon black women, and now it's like, okay, now they want me to defend them, but the thing is, they were never down with me. I could be defending a black woman right now, but only for her to return back to her abuser, only to turn back to another or a new abuser, and, you know, she doesn't see me as strength or as her protector and it rubs me the wrong way that I'm wasting so much time you know fighting for women who don't care about me and that's a legit that's like a legitimate issue that's a legitimate you know argument to the to, to the fray you know it's a, it's a legitimate argument and I can feel brothers on that too but I would think oh, out of those three categories that I listed I just think you know, a lot of it is based off brothers not being there. You know, good black men aren't in these areas. They're not in strip clubs the majority of the time. They're not in these corner stores or, you know, the ghettos. They're not in those areas the majority of the time. So it's kind of like it's falling on deaf ears. It's just probably like, hey, you need to find a better environment to live in or you just need to... Um, you know, because to me, I, I don't know what it is, like, you know, it's one thing when black women are saying that, you know, the issues with racism, white people are beating them up, true, true, um, and then, the, 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 but the newer issue that I'm hearing now is that domestic violence is a bigger issue, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm hearing all these stories, but I'm like, where are these women at? You know, they say, they keep telling us that they want us good black men to stand up for them, you know, in the, you know, when this, is, when, when it's, um, before things get bad, but it's like, you know, I'm not in these areas. I'm not, you know, I, I, I'm not seeing it. I'm not noticing it. Um, you know, you know, you know, probably most of us lames are, you know, most of our male friends are, uh, always single, nothing in, no, no serious relationships or whatever, so I'm, I'm just kind of confused on, like, w like, what's with all these black women crying out for protection, and it's like, 
you know, okay, we protect somebody, we protect you, but then again, it's like, okay, look, okay, let's say a black man's harassing me, and I come up, and I'm, I'm you know, I, I, I catch up with dude, and let's say it's not even me, let's just say it's a hyper-masculine dude, um, a street-type dude, and he's like, okay, what you, what you doing harassing my sister for? And then he brings a gun, they're arguing, they're fighting, you know, somebody gets shot, somebody dies. Like, like, what, what's the extreme that sisters want to be protected? That's kind of, like, my question. Like, w- like, what is the extreme? Like, do you want, you know, the matters to be solved through violence? Or do you want it just to be, you just want to, you know, be protected and you want to get out of bad situations, unscathed, unharmed, and stuff like that? Or, you know, or, or are you looking for a simp bodyguard? I feel like they're looking for a simp bodyguard. That's what they're looking for. But, you know, I ain't saying that, you know, women, black women aren't, in, aren't experiencing anything bad or they're not experiencing abuse. But the thing is, is that, um, you know, I would like to fight for you guys, you know. But the, the issue is just that I'm not there. I can... I can help out during the aftermath, like, you know, be a part of, uh, you know, safe homes or some domestic uh, abuse centers. But the the thing is with some of those, a lot of those domestic abuse abuse centers is that in those rape crisis centers is that they don't allow men to work or volunteers. Like some of them don't. And, you know... And, you know, men might feel unwanted there when dealing with victims, you know, because they might not trust you and this, that, and the third. And, you know, there's been incidences where men have been having sexual relations with the victims. So, you know, a lot of those options for us to help is getting thinner. But, you know, I've talked long enough. That's really all I got to say. But, you know. You know, I'm willing to help, but, you know, your you sisters have to kind of be specific and kind of learn, you know, the reasons why men aren't there. So-called good black men aren't there, you know. We're not in these corner stores. We're not in the strip club. We're not in these uh, parties, you know. So we, we, we're not going to, you know, you, you're going to have to come up with something. And you're also going to have to start treating brothers with, with some respect. At least the good black men, because, you know, they're willing to, you know, love you and respect you. But the thing is, is that they're getting so much animosity for for nonsense. And it's just killing their vibe. They're not motivated. Shit. Because I can remember years ago when I wasn't motivated to love black women. You know, I was like, man, these women are always rejecting me. They're always calling me lame. I'm like, you know, I am I was just kind of confused with my life. I was like, man, I want to be with a black woman so bad, but it's like, they give me no respect. And, you know, but, you know, I find me a, a, a sister to deal with. And I'm happy with that. But, you know, sisters, you know, nationwide, you know, they really need to start treating brothers who deserve the respect, you know. You know, respect the lame who's studying every day. You know, respect the um, the kid who loves science. You know, respect the, um, you know, the kid who likes Star Wars and he likes, you know, um, Yu-Gi-Oh cards or whatever. You know, respect him. You ain't got to date him, but at least respect him because a lot of females, you tear these brothers up. You tear them up so bad, and you, you guys don't even know it. So that that's just my message to black women right here. <clears throat>